Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha Bikers Life Less Ordinary. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to operate OBS on a Mac uh, computer and how to install a uh, new webcam. It's quite simple. So I'm currently using the Orsdom uh, Speedle uh, webcam. The links are below if you're interested. It's, it's, it's an okay webcam. It's not obviously of the higher range, but you certainly get HD quality out of it. Okay. Let's go to the screen and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Revelator L. Okay, see here I'm in the full screen layout and I've got the, the full layout of uh, my OBS setup already. I'm in studio mode, so if I just click studio down here, now I'm just in display capture. So if I just go there, so if I just, uh, I can get all the scenes on the left hand side here, here, and I've got all my different scenes that I want to set up for my uh, my different videos. So these are the different scenes. So what you can class those are are different um, pages, if you like, which you want to shoot off from. Okay, so I'm just going to shoot off this one here. You can see that uh, on the right hand box here, you can also see me and you could also see the full screen as well. And this is basically what you're seeing now. To add a new webcam, all you need to go to is in the sources. This is the sources of the information that you're going to feed into OBS. Go to plus and then video capture device. Click on that and then you can name it. You could say webcam one or something or two or whatever you want. Okay. Then on the device, you'll actually say which webcam it is. Now you could say the Orsdom FHD camera, which I'm shooting off now, or you could go the built-in uh, webcam if your computer has one of those, or laptop has one of those. So I'll just go with that one, and you can see that's exactly uh, what I'm shooting off there. Now you can use the preset, okay, and the preset is 1280 by 720. The reason why it's a preset of 720, as in the lower grade HD, uh, is because it takes a lot of uh, processing power to stream and to record uh, live screen recording at 1080. So it gives you a chance to say, well, you can record at a slightly lower level, but still get reasonable quality or good quality. So 720 HD, certainly for YouTube, is absolutely fine. Personally, I would stick to that. If you can, you can go to different settings. So unclick the preset, and you can click 1080 there if you want to. Personally, I wouldn't. I would go to 1280 by 720, and you can leave the use buffering alone if you want to. Okay, so you just click on that, and there on your left-hand screen here, this is your full HD picture. This is your full uh, 720 picture. Your screen is already set up at 720 as well. Your page, so if I go into settings, here on the bottom left, if I go into output, you'll see the recording, recording here, and it says down here, 1280 by 720. Okay, so that's already set up. So your screen is set up at 720. Your webcam is set up at 720. Now, to resize it, you just click on one of the corners and just click there, and it will resize it uh, in proportion. If you want to narrow the field, whatever, on a Mac, you have to press the Alt key, and then click on one of these, press and hold the Alt key, and then you can change the dimensions, whatever, release, and then you can move it around as and when you see fit. Okay, so that is for the secondary webcam. So you can have multiple webcams with multiple uh, different angles, let's say, are shooting you, and then you can feed that into the same picture and the same output as well. So that's basically how you set up a, a, a webcam, a new webcam for OBS. Uh, and especially on a Mac. Set it up for 720 initially, see how you like the, uh, the video quality, and then watch my other videos as well for syncing video and audio, especially in a Mac. 
Right, I hope you found this useful, and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers now. Revelator L.